this group of incredible individuals never ceases to amaze me. I mean, every year we have um, folks from all over the world who represent their installation, all branches of service, and uh, they just make us continually proud. First time the Military Spouse of the Year is not a she. Here he is, Jeremy Hilton. Huge honor, obviously, and it was quite a shot considering the, the other five ladies who I was going up for the overall award are all pretty amazing. And so to be selected as the final Military Spouse of the Year is obviously quite an honor. I honestly believe that together we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. What I used to do five years ago was to find something that I enjoyed doing that was portable, that I can just pick up and take with me every time the military um, told me I had to go somewhere else. My goal every day is to love other people and that hopefully somebody walks away from taking a moment to be with me feeling more love than when they first came. has to find their village and I am so grateful and lucky that I have the whole you know, spouses to do that for at home. And each year our armed forces gather together to name one very special recipient of the Military Spouse of the Year. Two years ago our son was born and he surprised us with Down syndrome and a lot of other neat diagnosis and um, immediately we knew that we could help other military families and so we founded um, the Down Syndrome Advancement Coalition specifically to help children with Down Syndrome but then I also um, volunteer with our exceptional family member program to really help all military families that have a child or dependent with special needs. Well this 2013 we founded the Young Quiet Professional which supports Gold Star families and veterans and we founded it while standing in Arlington National Cemetery. Um, I was recognized for the Marine Corps Spouse of the Year, but I'm also the Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse wow. of the Year. So I get to, I don't say represent, I get to stand beside some yes. beautiful, powerful women who are all advocating for something. It was a complete honor to be selected the first Coast Guard spouse to be the Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year. And I'm just really proud for our branch. We are the smallest, and it's just an honor to be able to elevate our Coast Guard spouses even more. The winner of the 2022 Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year, Sarah Strider. You know, I'm so grateful to Armed Forces Insurance for having a program that uniquely highlights the service and work of those of us who work behind the uniform. Um, but I've got to say that uh, I'm, I was very humbled and surprised, frankly, to get this award. And I really am proud of my colleagues, too, who made it to the branch finalist winner stage. Evie is the president of the nonprofit Independent, which is focused on providing mental health resources for military spouses. And yesterday she was named the 2023 Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year. So all of our programs are available to every single military spouse, DOD, Coast Guard, it does not matter. And we make them mostly virtual, not only because we ourselves are stationed all over the world. I have key members in Japan, I'm in Germany, all across America. Uh, but also because wellness shouldn't be limited to the location that you are in. And so our independent wellness summit is a week of wellness that you can enjoy from the comfort of your own or anywhere, anywhere in the world. And our Fuel the Homefront program is an educational program that you can take and, and learn from and then incorporate not only while you're in service, but also afterward and for a lifetime.